In the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus Christ experienced a profound and intense moment of prayer, so powerful that his sweat became blood. This phenomenon, known as hematidrosis, symbolizes the depth of Jesus' passion and sacrifice. Let us delve into the significance of this extraordinary event and its impact on humanity. As Jesus faced the weight of humanity's sins and the impending crucifixion, he was consumed by anguish and sorrow. His prayer was a desperate plea to his Father, seeking solace and strength in the face of unimaginable suffering. The intensity of his supplication caused his body to release blood-tinged sweat, a manifestation of his inner turmoil. In this moment of utmost vulnerability, Jesus' prayer transformed into a triumphant declaration of love and devotion. His blood sweat became a testament to his humanity, demonstrating that even in the darkest hours, divine grace and mercy prevail. As he surrendered to God's will, Jesus' prayer transcended mortal limitations, bridging the gap between human frailty and divine perfection. Jesus' blood sweat prayer represents the pinnacle of selfless love, a love that would endure even the most brutal sacrifice. This moment in the Garden of Gethsemane serves as a powerful reminder of Jesus' humanity and divinity, demonstrating that he is both fully God and fully man. This extraordinary event has inspired countless generations of believers, offering hope and strength in times of adversity. Jesus' blood sweat prayer serves as a beacon of light, illuminating the path to Calvary and the promise of redemption. The blood sweat prayer of Jesus Christ is a powerful reminder of his unwavering commitment to humanity's redemption. May we find solace in his sacrifice and inspiration in his unwavering devotion. As we reflect on this poignant moment, may our own prayers be infused with the same passion, surrender, and unconditional love. May the agony and ecstasy of Jesus' blood sweat prayer forever be etched in our hearts, guiding us on our own journey of faith. My dear brothers and sisters, let us reflect on the power of prayer and the impact on our lives. Our prayers should be sincere and from a clean heart. Clean hands and a pure heart will inherit the kingdom of God. God understands that we sometimes struggle with unforgiveness and he will help us to overcome those negative feelings through prayer and supplication. God is pure love, and through his Holy Spirit we have received his divine love and grace. A promise fulfilled. Hatred is like cancer, it destroys us from within. We forgive others not only for them but we do so that we may regain our peace, joy and comfort. Please don't allow anyone to steal this joy that is within you. Jesus Christ's final prayer on earth was upon Calvary's cross where he asked his Father to forgive those who hated and crucified him. We that are called by God and identified as Christians should strive to be like Jesus Christ in our thoughts and actions. Let the light of the Holy Spirit that is within us shine so bright that others will see and glorify our Father who is in heaven. Pray not only for yourself, but please remember those who hate you without a cause, those who speak evil against you, those who despise you and those who wishes to see you fall. Nobody can take the blessings that God has in store for those who honor him. Keep praying, keep trusting and in faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ we will be transformed through the power of the Holy Spirit and become more like him. I love you all with the love of God. One day we will be with Jesus in heaven. Until then let us continue to be the salt and the light of this world. There is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walks not after the flesh, but after the spirit of the living God. Thanks for watching and for your comments. Stay blessed in Jesus' name.